Hey everyone, it's Ross here on MGF Customs, back today now with the new reveal of the upcoming LEGO Sanctuary 2 from the new Infinity Saga lineup. How's it going everybody? Happy June. I hope all of you out there in Europe are enjoying getting the Infinity Saga sets today, while all of us in the States continue to have to wait until August 1st. Regardless, the Sanctuary 2, the set number is going to be 76237, ages 7 and up with 322 pieces, and as a matter of fact, it's already retailing for a whopping $39.99 available for pre-order now on lego.com here in the US so yeah and obviously this set really goes a long way in complementing the new Avengers compound set the new final battle and I think that this is definitely really cool and it's pretty much what I expected as a matter of fact I almost expected the build to actually look a little bit worse than this but the point is the size for a $40 set the sanctuary 2 is is just really tiny and I I mean I get it to a point but 40 bucks for this I don't know. I mean, I guess the minifigures are cool, right? You get the uh, Mark 85, always great to have. You get a new Thanos minifigure, uh, which has some new printing, and the leg printing looks brilliant. I mean, it looks really cool. The helmet is obviously goofy as hell, and I kind of wish they would have just left it out. He has the uh, Infinity Gauntlet hand, of course, just like basically the same exact piece that we see used on the Nano Gauntlet with the compound um, coming up, and also Captain Marvel 2023 actually utilizing, I think, the correct hair piece in this case, and you can see the torso is actually printed on a base red torso and obviously you have all kinds of power blast pieces included here and Thanos' little double bladed sword and minifigure form so I mean this is cool the build is cool the stickers are nice you have a lot of stud shooters on top of that thing but I just can't help but wonder what this set would have been like if they offered like a $60 version of it or $80 version or even you know $120 version but this $40 variant is cool man and I, I do like it the design is good it's just, this kind of reminds me of the Guardians 2 Milano that was released in 2017, the really shrunken down crappy ship, and this isn't as bad because this actually does look nice. And you know, I understand that they wanted to do a big Benatar with the new Infinity Saga lineup. I still think they should have made a larger Milano, but maybe LEGO might have thought that a Sanctuary 2 at a scale bigger than this wouldn't have sold all too well, and so I get it and I understand to an extent but it's still disappointing especially when the price point on this one feels a little steep to me this is more than anything just kind of a cool desk buddy and not exactly what I would classify as being a substantive sanctuary too anyway um, this one is actually due out in October apparently so let me know what you think down in the comments there's a quick video for you today but on Thursday I'm gonna have a multi custom printed minifigure review covering uh, you know four figures from two completely different sellers here in the community so that's already shot and I'm editing that now and that's gonna make for a really cool and fun video and uh, very unorthodox too so I hope to see you guys there for that and otherwise of course you know when I'm not posting here on the main channel as I always say you can always find me over on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and uh, that's where I'm posting all my digital Photoshop edits like the reveal for Ahsoka from the Mandalorian season 2 and of course all the progress for my Mandalorian season 2 customs has been hitting my patreon for a long time now way before any of it reaches even my socials before the main channel channel here and uh, I did post a new vlog on MGF Extra kind of offering a bit of an update on my Bo-Katan along with a ton of other things in there so uh, that is all happening and again I only say it because still when I'm not posting here on the main channel there's always a lot going on elsewhere regardless and um, yeah so I appreciate you guys being so patient with me as I just kind of sporadically appear uh, every now and then for videos like this but I've got some cool ones coming up as I'm making some new stuff here so I'll see you guys next time and if you're in Europe what Infinity Saga sets are you going to be picking up today let me know down in the comments. All right, everybody, take care and uh, keep creating.